What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video. If you read the title, then you will know that we're going to be building a very small aquarium out of a very small container. So let's just get into the video. Before we get into today's video, I just want to show you something cool that you can do at home and it's a very fun experiment. So this is the experiment right here. It's literally you just take an egg and you put it in white vinegar for like a week or so and then it, the vinegar will eat the shell away and it'll just be that like uh, rubbery stuff and you can bounce it. So comment down below whether you've done this or not. So guys, we got everything we need right here. We got this little container right here. I think it's a little gun container. So I'm just going to unscrew the cap just like that. And if you guys watched, I think it was last video, we used this rock. So rinse your rock off every single time. Rock and sand and basically any other thing that you're going to put in fishing, make sure to wash it off. I already washed it off. So I'm just going to layer the bottom with this rock. So guys, we got the bottom lined with the rock. And now we're going to get this little plant right here. We're going to put this in there. All right, guys, we got our plant in place. And this is looking pretty cool. So now I'm going to add this little piece of driftwood. It's super small. I'm just going to put it in there just like that. And now I'm going to add this water. It's already dechlorinated. This is what I use for my reptiles, my hermit crab, my fish. You can use it for all of them. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of this in there to fill it on up. Boom. It's full just like that. So guys, we got a problem. This wood actually floats. So I'm actually going to take this out and just leave the plant in. It looks pretty cool. I'm going to show you it real quick. Here we go. This is our aquarium right here. Super small. The fish are not going to go in here for long. But I just thought I would show you real quick. It's got a little plant and it's got some gravel in there. So you can do this at your house too. Just please do not keep fish in here for more than like five minutes. But let's get a fish for it. All right guys, we got a little male guppy right here. He's gonna be super cool in here. So let's add him to the tank. The water temperatures are the same, so I don't need to acclimate him, so let's put him in. There we go, he looks so cool in here. And then also, I can screw on this lid just like that. And now it is one, it's watertight too. I can open up this and I can feed him. If I were to keep something in here, do not keep anything in here. I just wanted to show that. But now I'm gonna do a montage. <laughs> Guys, this aquarium is really cool, but I do not want to keep him in here for too long. So I'm going to show you the 10 gallon tank, and I'm going to release him and show you my hermit crab tank. Alright guys, this is the 10 gallon tank. We've got a few different things in here, like guppies, we got red tetras, we got, we got a few quarry cats in here. And I think we have, we have one of these, and I think one neon tetra. And then I'm going to re be rehousing my Pleco right there. I'm not going to release it because down here they are invasive. But this tank is super cool.
guys, that is super cool. That's the 10 gallon tank, and now I'm going to show you my hermit crab tank. Guys, this is a hermit crab tank. This is probably a 5 gallon tub. It's plenty big enough. He's got his salt water dish right there, a shelf for him to move into, and a mountain for him to climb up. He's got wood. He's got his food right there with calcium powder. He's right there, and then he's got his fresh water dish. I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up uh, the hermit crab and show you guys. Guys, there he is. It's a really cool hermit crab. Oh, he's a little skittish though. He's super cool. He's got like purple and red on him. Super, super cool. I think I might be rehoming him just because he is a little bit boring. But yeah, he's super, super cool. So let's get him back in his tank. And guys, I don't know if you find this interesting, but this is my pepper plant. It's grown so much. I've literally had it planted for like two weeks. It's grown so much. It's so easy to plant. You need a little cup, just like this dirt in water and they'll plant just like that so guys if you got any video ideas that you would like to see me do drop them down in the comments down below let me know what you think i should do i've got a few of them and i idea um i got a few ideas a few of them are coming up i'll give you some ideas that i will do i'm gonna go lizard hunting and i'm gonna do a salt water tank at the beach so i'm gonna go to a park catch some saltwater fish and do a whole tank there. I'm not gonna keep them. I don't have the right stuff for salt water yet. Um so yeah if you have any ideas drop them down in the comments down below. And that is all I've got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um I'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. I was really hoping each of you I could get a subscriber. Please make that possible. I'd love for this to be my full-time job when I grow up making content entertaining you guys so please like share and subscribe this video I'd really appreciate it and with that being said I'll see you guys in the next video